What's going guys, Zenos here and today let's play Grand Chase, one of the really amazing game out there that I've really played so far. This is one of the really best game out there guys. Really amazing artwork, so many good uh, mechanics right out there that really will keep us pretty entertained. I just started playing this game and I am pretty much uh, attracted to this game guys. I'm pretty much amazed on how simple and how yet so amazing this game really is in terms of like animations uh you know like the character artworks it really looks like tunis and even the waifu as you know, like they are pretty good and most of the units that i've got here right over here are pretty much free to play unit and i've actually seen their like rating and it's pretty high that is like pretty good and yes i have really tried them out in battle as well and they have really proved themselves to be really amazing okay so this game is pretty good even for the uh, beginners okay and obviously i think i will be playing this game for a while and obviously i will be updating you guys on like uh, if this game is really gonna go towards the free to play uh you know like uh, area or it's gonna be more on like pay to win area okay so before starting this video guys please do subscribe to my channel and if you are interested please do uh donate to this channel as well all right and now let's get this started guys let's get into the adventure mode where we will be doing the battle okay this is how the adventure mode really looks like and you can see already see that like if i am able to clear all the world uh you know like stages that's about 189 i'll be getting a free sr ticket that's a five star at unit okay so that's pretty insane already okay so right out here i'm at this uh i'm in the like uh, the third island or whatever that is okay so uh right out here guys i can now actually do the battle and within the battle guys i will actually show you on how the battle will actually progress how to actually do the battle and stuff like that which is pretty amazing very good interactive environment guys right over here 30,579. that is my cp combat power or battle point bp <laughs> It's actually BP in this game, battle points, okay? So uh, the next thing is like edit party. You can actually edit your party right out here, like just, uh, you know, like exchange whatever you want, okay? But I really don't want exchange for now. Uh, whatever I've got so far, I'm pretty much happy with that one. Uh, if you really want to see if a character is pretty good or not, according to the general user's review, you can just go into the manage and you can see their rating right out here. 4.8. Wow. Desert Roar Charlotte. Damn. Oh, damn. She looks really good and amazing. Wow. Definitely can be a waifu as well. Wow. That's good. Dominatrix, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this woman, uh, this girl right out here is a pretty great healer and I really do recommend it uh, Recommend her to everyone right out there and she's uh, she's got even like really good grade guys I mean like rating is just too good 4.7. That's pretty great 4.7 over 5 and like like she really does it I mean like she really does provide like HP shield and healings and everything right out there This is the main character the main protagonist. I guess okay this adventure Kyle and then like his rating is pretty great as well 4.8 and yes he does actually prove that right in the battle as well and this woman right out here guys olivia my name is olivia the name is olivia damn oh damn see it's just amazing just like momo from i forgot the name of the anime damn it oh the night trade or something like that damn it i forgot the name but damn oh damn, she just looks like Momo. Oh yeah, I think most of the guys really know about her. <laughs> 4.9 guys, and yes, she definitely deserves it. Because not only that, like, she has a really great set of, like, uh, skills. She also have a leadership skill, or let's say, uh, sort of, like, any special animation skill, which I'm actually gonna show you a little bit later, which just, like, goes, like, boom. Just too good, deals a lot of damage, and it just looks too cool. Okay, so that's the thing right out there and this woman is pretty much like just like a archer and that's what she is and she's actually doing pretty fine and just as to start this game and getting a lot of gems like this one okay uh, what's his name I forgot this name yeah gem that's what you so uh, that's what you say uh, that's the gem oh my god hey come on I'm, oh wow that's good premium hero summon ticket prana how many prana do I have I think I got a lot of prana okay oh my god 2900 oh my god so near <gasps> oh man okay 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 so 
that's the thing right out there guys uh, edit party okay you can actually edit the party just like that one if you really want to uh, manage uh, your hero units and just uh, you know like check out their equipment you can do that uh, this is actually a pretty good system of doing the auto equip as well that is pretty great that's what I really like I'm like especially as a beginner you really don't want to go through all those like you know like one by one one by one that is pretty much a waste of time and now in this game guys it's actually improving the quality of your life just click on the auto click and then every sort of like item that is available in your accessories okay a weapon short weapon armor super armor artifact wow that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of items and yes it doesn't end in that there is actually accessory as well all right in the accessory guys we have ring necklace and earring <laughs> like what <laughs> yeah 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 you have those okay so those are the things that you have to keep in mind the skills are pretty amazing guys i'm like i am just too fan of her guys Oh man, she's just too great. Uh, you can just go and like, you know, like all the stuff that you can actually provide or uh, give to her. Anyways, let's get into the battle without wasting any further time. Uh, that's, uh, I think that's pretty much uh, like uh, enough said, okay? <laughs> so... Uh, yes there we go guys this is how we go anyways i think you guys have already noticed that the music of this game is pretty good the soundtrack is pretty great uh even this uh you know like these uh mini skins or cutscenes really makes a lot of sense okay and like it has a really good uh story outline as well and that's just too good just look at it guys i mean like uh just by uh, you know like looking at the general outline or the out preview of this battle we can see like a little bit of like metal slug kind of like uh you know like uh texture and also like breath of fire 4 texture you know like when you are actually looking out for the dungeons if you guys have already played breath of fire 4 then i think you should have pretty pretty much you know like uh, acquainted with this kind of things right and yes these are the things that are really making me just too great guys okay so right out here guys let's get into the discussion right away you have auto skill and auto move okay so if you really don't have like auto skill and auto move what's gonna do is uh, the what, what your character is actually gonna do is like they are just gonna do the auto attack that's all they are actually gonna do okay and they are not gonna move uh in order to move you have to just click and drag and hold okay well i'm actually doing it in my nox so uh it seems like in nox we cannot really actually drag so uh in order to make a move just click on the uh tile just like age of empire that you have done so far uh so that's the thing right out there that's the normal attack auto attack and you can actually uh you know like trigger like those kind of like special skills just click on a like icon and you can do that or you can just do the auto skills and auto move okay it's really up to you guys on how you really want to do it and the next thing is that like you can see right out here my character this this woman right out here has a sparkling on her avatar when she's battling that means like her special skill is pretty much uh like you know like ready to be unleashed uh you have to click her icon and click any icon right out there uh, whichever the enemy that you want to uh attack and did you see that one like she just charges forward and do a like a, you know like a sort of like a invincible slash or invisible slash or whatever that is right and that just looks too cool like you know uh it's like it seems like as if like it's straight from uh you know what do you call this that name um samurai x okay like from kenshin himura like <laughs> man that was just too cool so after the end of the battle guys uh, obviously our hero units right out here are actually gonna get some you know this uh, uh experience points whereas we are gonna get a lot of rewards so whenever you make a uh you know like a clearance for the first time obviously we are gonna get this kind of gems and this kind of like orbs that we're just gonna really help you in making a passive uh you know like stat boost of your hero units which i'm gonna talk a little bit later so anyways let's try to do another battle as well i think the first battle was not enough to actually make a point okay so we can do that again let's try to do it wow she looks pretty cool wow she kind of reminded me of archangel from the summoner's war or let's say uh from the uh the the, the, the air of light okay so that's the thing right out there guys uh, you can just do auto skill and auto move okay if you want to intervene you can intervene as well just click on the icon and just do that and can you see that like above the icon on the top right corner you can see that like that's a figure written like one one two two okay 
uh, these are actually the SP points. Uh, so can you see the thing on the middle? Okay, this is actually a gauge meter. Okay, so uh, right on the left side. Okay, uh, whenever you make a hit or you know like whenever you are like um, uh, hurting the opponents or whenever you are killing the opponents, this actually fills up. This gauge actually fills up. I only have like one, so that means like it's like a cost. Okay, meaning like whenever I make a attack or whenever I kill the opponent, what's gonna happen is like this gauge is gonna get full. Uh, you know, like gonna get filled and like. I can actually use uh, this. Uh, this is gonna be actually working as a currency for my skill, okay? So that's why it's called skill points. Uh, you will be requiring a certain number of skill points for a skill to be triggered. Wow, that's pretty great. <gasps> awesome animation, guys. It looks like I have to fight against myself. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty classic. Okay, I will silence the bit. Okay, so let's try to do this. Let's try to kill the healer, okay? So there we go. Boom! And I can actually click on this main gauge meter and then like do some like, you know, like team skill, okay? And that's actually pretty great. Just look at that, guys. I mean, like this game is really about doing some uh, massive AoE damage, which really gives you a very good feeling of like dealing a lot of damage, right? And this is just too great, guys. I'm pretty much a fan of like this kind of battle system and it's pretty much engaging. I don't know like why this game got a 3.5 review. I really don't get it. This game really does deserve a lot of... Uh, love and attention guys I'm mean, like the way the amount uh, the sheer intensity of like focus that the developers have really put into this game is pretty much phenomenal okay so uh, I really think that like you guys also really should really invest into this uh, game as well you know like in your time maybe with your money okay well that's whatever whatever that is this game oh, <laughs> oh man shall I fight shall I fight <laughs> let's fight Oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> Holy crap, okay, so let's do it again. Oh my god, okay, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Asin, okay, or Asin, whatever that is. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Wow, I mean like, wow, there was some waifu. Uh, wow, that's good. So right out here, guys, you can see right out here, uh, I got the units and uh, on the middle gaze, uh, you can see that skill points is, is the orange bar, okay? And if you see the blue bar, the blue box, you might be asking whatever that is. It's actually a, like, mana point, okay? Or something like that. It's actually a mana, something like that. And it's actually gonna be consumed whenever your character is gonna do a special move, you know? Uh, from this woman, Olivia. Whenever Olivia is actually gonna make a special move, she's gonna need 20 mana. Right now, I only have 13 mana, okay? So how does the mana actually like uh, you know like goes up uh, I think I kind of got in the tutorial that whenever you use skill points the mana actually got, gets like increased the mana increases I think that's what it is yes uh, whenever you use skill points the mana increases and when you have enough mana then what's gonna happen is that like your unit or your main unit or my this Olivia right over here can actually use her ultimate ultimate skill right out there guys she will ignore everyone and then she will actually unleash her ultimate skill and whenever you kill uh, you know like how to say this like uh, click on this middle icon the gaze meter what's gonna happen is that like you can uh, use certain sort of like uh, you know like how to say like a party skill uh, the party skill can actually be uh, like AoE damage or a AoE heal. Okay, so that's pretty great. Uh, it's already charged again and I can heal myself again, my whole team. And that's actually gonna really give a lot of HP to my players. Okay, that's pretty great. Uh, this uh, really good healer right out here, the man and the sheep, okay? She is actually giving a lot of health boost. That is pretty great. And she's also providing a lot of barriers. So that is really insane as well. I'm pretty much happy with whatever things going on out uh, right out here. And the game has been really providing so many amazing characters right up the bat when I'm actually starting. The game actually gives a lot of... Uh, you know like boost okay to me as a beginner to have in this game guys this game is just too good the environment right out here the dungeons and stuff like that the the, the items the placements okay the the artwork okay or let's say the synergy whatever that is whatever that you call it it just looks too good okay the visual the visual the visual aspect of this game is pretty much very attractive and it's very uh you know like how to say this um 
engaging okay that's what i uh, try to say engaging engaging guys i'm like it's too good okay so we are actually gonna fight against the boss that is star vargon or whatever that is wow just look at the amount the sheer amount of these opponents there is like i mean like it's all about every damn wow i wish i could have her i'm like wow that's good you know like wow that, that that's that's definitely a waifu i mean like momo yeah momo she is a waifu i mean like she is well, I can do it. And where is that guy? Okay, see, he is right over there. Okay, so there we go. And we can do the auto skill again. It says the defeat boss within the 1 minute and 30 seconds. Holy crap. So I'm pretty much on the timer right out here. So I'm actually going to do this AoE attack by clicking on that one. Uh, Momo will be able to use... <laughs> I mean, like, Olivia, okay? Our Momo Olivia will be able to use her ultimate skill after 9 seconds, 8 seconds, 7 seconds, okay? Just look at that, 6 seconds, okay? Uh, but anyways, I think before that one, the opponent is actually gonna die! Holy crap, okay! Oh, man! Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh, come on! Oh, man! Oh, I think it's done. Oh, great. <laughs> I just wanted to use, like, one last slash. Alright, that's the thing right out there. Uh, till so far, I only had one crash with this game. This game is actually pretty much working really fine. I don't feel any kind of sort of disturbance. The game, pay game pace is pretty great as well. I really don't think like you really need a very high amount of, uh, you know, like, um, you know, like machine specs or graphic specs or like, you know, RAM or, or storage in order to actually play this game. This game is just too amazing, guys. Really too good. Wow. I'm like, I am in love with this game, guys. I'm just in love with this game. This game is just too good. I think I'm actually gonna play this game for a while. This is the game that I was actually looking out for. This game actually gives me a sort of like, you know, a satisfaction that I was actually looking forward for. Is there something that I just unlocked? Okay, is there is there anything? Oh, Annihilation! Okay, so challenge it and I'm actually gonna get a S tier list of like, 4 star net, four star net a hero. That's great. Uh, so, uh, just pr guys, keep on checking your mail. Uh, your ma mail is always gonna get bombarded with a lot of things, and even free unit heroes, just like that. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> five star unit, just like that. Holy crap, Maze! Oh my god, I love Maze. You know why? Because like they always come up with an AOE skill, and that just looks too good. <gasps> Amazing, guys! Just look at that. The sheer amount of the uh, free to play units just uh, being provided to us, just like that. Holy crap! Wow, that's great. Let's get into the party and let's see like what she is really capable of uh, capable of this uh, uh, S S unit guys I'm like just look at that guys Wow S rank okay maze and black flame Rezil and her rating is four point <gasps> Wow, 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 wow. Of course I would build her up. Okay, so this is gonna be a tutorial on how to build her up, okay? So, uh, just just hang on guys, just look at this, okay? Just click on the icons, I mean like this, uh, you know, like the, uh, the, 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 the equipment section, and just do the auto equip, okay? So this is actually what's gonna happen, okay? You just did the auto equip, right? Now what's gonna happen is that like, you can just click on this one and do the upgrade. Now the upgrade system right over here is pretty much uh, like, how to say, uh, pretty much unique. Uh, up to the fourth grade, uh, it's going to be pretty much like a uh, very low amount of gold is actually going to be required. You don't have to worry about a lot of gold because like, guys, I've been given 4.2 million gold just like that. As a beginner, wow, that's a really great kickstart, guys. And I'm just being required like 600, 700 gold. Like, what? <laughs> I like it's like it looks like like this stack of gold is pretty much endless okay so as a beginner i'm not really actually feeling any sort of like uh what do you call this like limitations in enjoying this game this is the gayest i'm like this is the best thing that i have actually ever seen guys uh safe grade upgrade is like uh you know like okay if you still want to proceed with this normal equip upgrade what's gonna happen is like if you fail the enhancement level will actually decrease like it's plus six right now right so if i fail what's gonna happen is that like it's actually gonna go back okay oh, wow oh so look at that it was plus eight just a while ago right and it went back right so that's the thing right out there meaning like if you fail too many times with a, uh, this normal equip upgrade uh the enhancement level is actually gonna trace backwards which is pretty bad okay so Always try to do the safe upgrade. Yes, safe upgrade is actually gonna fail most of the time as well, but uh, the enhancement level of your item will not actually go backward. So that's the guarantee that you will have. And for now, it seems like most of the uh, in, like equipment have the maximum upgrade of plus nine only. 
at this moment maybe they are like pretty great items like legendary items or something like that and they might have like you know even better uh you know like aspect okay so right out there guys uh just uh upgrade it to plus nine and that's gonna be it uh you will be getting a lot of like equipments like this uh when you are doing the chapter or story mode uh so really no need to like panic guys okay you are gonna get a tons of them uh no problem just uh, keep on doing your stuff on the uh story mode and that's 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 pretty much it guys this is how it's this is how it should be and she is pretty great guys okay so skill uh you can see her skills right out here guys pretty great uh you can actually look out here okay uh well uh the next one is stats you can see her stats right out here as well uh you know like if you really are a geek about it but let's not discuss about it today maybe next time when i'm actually gonna be really good at it then at that time maybe and it feels like as if i really don't need to re-roll anymore guys i'm like i, I do you feel do you guys even feel like there's a re need to re-roll in this game i really don't think so guys i'm like this this is already too good I'm like, why would I really reroll? I'm like, I'm getting a really amazing S unit, S ranking unit, just like that. Like 4.9, guys. I'm like, just 0.1 down. Like, wow, that's good. I'm like, and the other thing is like, guys, you can go with the hero growth as well. Hero growth is something that will really allow uh, your hero unit to go into the max level. Okay, so let's do the auto material and let's do the upgrade. Okay, so there we go, guys. Oh, wow, that's two success, three success. Okay, there we go. So plus nine, plus nine. Damn it! Wow, just look at that. The CP that she actually jumped. I'm mean, like the battle points from thirteen thousand seven hundred forty-six to seventeen thousand one hundred fourteen. Wow, that's great. Wow. I'm mean, like, does her avatar just changed or something like that? Oh yeah, it, it it actually changed a little bit. Wow, that's good. Can I evolve? Oh man, it's only after evolving. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about it. It's only after evolving, and I will be getting like that kind of stuff. But I need a lot of stones like this one. I, like I only have eleven evo evo stone. Okay, so in order to evolve your hero unit, you need to get that evo stone. Okay, and I'm actually trying to collect a lot of evo stones right now, as of now. Okay, so let's see right about that one, guys. But anyways, that's how the hero growth system really works out. And she has about 13,000 and that is pretty much great. So can I actually just uh, replace this stupid woman out here with this one? Yes, I can. Amazing, guys. Uh, well, I actually got this porch as well uh, as a uh, five-star Nyat unit, but his rating is pretty low <laughs> compared to anyone. But he hits hard, okay? He hits hard. Uh, I have to really give that. But anyways, I have got really good units right out here, so I don't need the porch right now. But damn, oh damn, like this is just too good. So, uh, this one is attack team, the next one is you can actually do the defense team as well, but only after the 4-9, okay? The complete the chapter 4-9, and only after that you can do the defense team. I think that is gonna be for PvP contents. The next one is skill research, okay? So, right out of here, guys. Wow, the skill research is pretty great. This is where you are actually gonna get new uh, skills that uh, you could actually trigger with the middle skill, stuff like that, okay? So, that's the thing right out there, guys. Pretty great, I think it's pretty insane uh, on how actually they really work out, pretty good. Uh, party passive, I, I think I, 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 I'll kind of do that right now as well. Anyway, it's all about the party skill and I'm using the Lights Judgment a lot of time because it says in the targeted location, physical damage 465 damage, yes, it does help a lot, okay? So that's the thing right out there guys. The next one is Hero Training, okay? So uh, you will be needing a lot of these items, what are these items? It's called the Blessings of Valor, okay? You'll be needing this kind of items to give a passive boost to your units. Obviously, I have a lot of like this, uh, what do you call this uh, thing? Assault units, okay? So, uh, yes, it's gonna be my primary duty to give a lot of points to the Assault units. Uh, next one is I can do this one and I can actually go with the Maze because I just got a S-ranking Maze, okay? So, yes, uh, why not uh, give everything to this, 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 this stuff right out here, okay? So, there we go, guys. Uh, you can see right out here the max health is improved, uh, physical defense is improved, magical defense is improved, and magical attack is improved, okay? So that's the passive skill right out there, guys. I mean, like, if you have already played Summoner's War and Air of Light, I really think that you are understanding, like, what I said. And yes, her battle point, this woman's battle point was about 13,000 a little while ago, and due to the skill research or hero training, uh, it, came, it, came about, it came to be about, like, 14,612. There you go, guys. That's how it's done, okay? So you can also make a total arrangement of like other units as well. It's really up to you on how you want to do it. But anyways, for me right now, this is how it's gonna go. Can I put the actually the... Yes, I can actually do the pets as well. Pets will also really help you in the battle, but I don't know like how exactly right now. So I'm actually gonna discuss that I'll maybe, maybe, maybe someday. 
Uh, please try to check out the event page, uh, whatever that is. Okay, so you can actually get a lot of gold, 300 million gold, uh, 300,000 gold, guys. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so right out of you guys. Anyways, now let's get into the summoning section. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think I'm blabbering too much. Uh, so let's get into the summon shop right out here and let's try to do the summon okay i have been really working my ass off to get this 3000 uh gem and i will be using this one on this banner guys because for this banner it says uh there will be a double chance to get asr unit hero but it will cost you like a, like more uh you know this uh this this item okay i think 75 percent more so that's what it is guys so right out here guys we can see right over here it's only 3000 so I only have 3000 okay uh, so I will be trying to do this one let's see if I can get another S, S ranking unit but seems like I already have got a lot so I don't need to be uh, really uh, you know like you know like blab blabbering about that one but anyways guys look at it the bonus vanilla if you are actually gonna pull a lot of units from here uh there will actually be gonna be a mileage reward or uh, what you call this a fever gaze or something like that this is the accumulated bonus and at last we are actually gonna get a guaranteed sr unit at a 200 times of summoning okay so it pretty much coincides like a banner that we actually get in the epic 7 as well but uh, unlike Epic 7, we won't be getting a, that banner type of uh, hero unit right out here. Alright, so anyways, let's try to do this summon. Can we do it? Can we do it? Come on, let's, let's, oh, man, just look at it. I'm like, the animation is pretty great. The man animation, I, I really have to give it. Wow, that's a four star unit, okay? So that's pretty good. He looks like a machamp. Okay, there we go. 343 years old Mal uh, Mandragora, okay? Is she a S unit? No, she's an A unit, okay? A class unit. Oh my god, again, a dupe. Okay, Syndicate Pen Husky, okay? So I think I already got her. I got him. This is an A unit. Uh, a unit, another Undead Ma uh, Marjorn. Uh, Bright Cat Coco. Wow, just look at that, guys. Just look at that. Wow. Isn't he cute? Damn it. Damn it. He's really cute. Maze, okay? Uh, A-Class Hero again, Black, Back Alley General Sai. Wow, just look at him. I'm like, wow, that that's that's a very ripped body. And just look at how the artwork is really made out. I'm like, the artwork pretty great. I'm like, I really have to give it. Oh, there we go, guys. Wow, that's, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, so next thing, next thing, guys, a Huntress Negia. Wow, I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of four-star units, guys. I mean, like, Jelly Girl, come on, just give me a 1S unit. Can we? Can we? Come on. Okay, there we go. Come on, please, please. Ah, oh, man, okay. New prison guard, Betty. What's gonna do? Oh, he's a maze again. I really love maze. You know why? Because maze are pretty amazing builds. They really do. Have, uh, they usually do have AOE skills, and they can actually kill a lot of units at a time. And it's such a cute, cute, cute maze. Oh my god! Just look at it. I'm like, he has got medals. Oh man, I love this game. Oh my god! I mean, like, wow, really nice collectibles, and like the way that they actually do the battle. It's just too great, alright? It's just too great. Wow, that's good. I got one S unit. I'm pretty happy with my pool, okay? So that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. Confirm. But I think SR unit it said, right? So what's an SR unit really? That's a 5 star unit unit. Alright, alright. Uh, can I actually go into like rate? Is there is there a rate? Oh, SR rank 5 star. S rank 4 star was 15%. A rank 4 star is like SR rank 5 star. Oh my god, I didn't get a SR unit. I didn't get a SR unit. Holy crap, I still don't have a SR unit. Alright, okay, so that actually sucks. Uh, can I actually see a stuff like these are the SR? <gasps> these are the SR units. My god, guys, and it's only about like 1%. Right out here, I think it's 2% in here, okay? It's two person in here, yes, because it's double the chance. Just two person only, two person only. Like really? Are you freaking kidding me? You know how how long it actually took me to get that like three thousand gems? Damn it! Oh man, I got some uh, mandragora, and obviously I'm gonna use it. Uh, I think where can I use it? I think it's in the event. Uh, can I do it here? Okay, there we go. We got some really good item right out there. Level of adventure, login. Login. I think it's that's not login. Hot time. 
Oh, damn it. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? I forgot. Okay, so book. Is that in book? Uh, well, try to actually, uh, you know, like follow up all the red marks, the red dots, and uh, that will really lead you to uh, collecting a lot of, uh, you know, those uh, gems, okay? Which obviously eventually will help you in claiming a lot of items. Items, okay? So that's pretty great. I got a lot of items right up there. And can I go into the Amy Chaser event? Uh, is this it? Oh, no, no, no. It's not the one. Uh, it's Mandragora. Is it Mandragora? Yes, here we go. This is the place where we are actually going to use it. Okay, so let's use it right out here. <gasps> 200! Okay, that's great. I got 200. Uh, what's going to be? 50 gems. Okay, clap, clap, clap. That's nice. Uh, another one. So, so, what was sorry? Like, 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 what, 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 sorry? What? Hey! Okay, there we go. We got some really good luck. Uh, it, it, it seems like as if it's a bingo. So if I got like the the same number as that of the, uh, you know, like the previous one, it's actually just gonna clash, and I'm actually gonna get a key, I guess. Uh, that's what it is. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's hope that it will not actually coincide. Oh my god, why is not there like a option that just gives like, you know, like how you can do like, you know, like uh, multiple times at a time. So these are the type of events, uh, guys, that you always need to try to do. It actually just gives you a lot of amazing rewards like this one. And I'm pretty much happy on how it's actually going on. Oh, wow, that's pretty great. Wow guys, wow. Okay, so there we go. Uh come on, next one, next one, next one. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh one and uh there we go. Okay, that was a co number coinciding. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. Uh I need a lot of lot more gems so that like I think I can uh I can invest them a little bit in the summoning banner as well. Uh, but this is actually pretty much a cheating guys. I mean like getting at the same number that we just pulled a little while ago That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense guys. Like what? I mean, like there is a clashing number Wow, oh my god. Okay, so uh, just six more and we are pretty much done uh, So if you get like the same number and you are actually just gonna end up with a key uh, So what are, what can we do with the key? What can we do with the key? So there we go. Uh, there's a clash, and we are gonna get the adventurous mark. Okay, so there we go. Uh, wow, there we go, guys. Wow, this is good. Wow, th these are the perks. Okay, that will really gonna help us to upgrade our units. Okay, and later actually to evolve them as well. So what's this? Rank four support armor select ticket. Hmm? That's good. That's good. Uh, what can we do? <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Should I just go with this one right away? Uh, no, no, not right now. How about this magic? Uh, magic defense, mm, uh, physical defense, 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 uh, knight magic hat, uh, man, magic defense, uh, knight steel boots. If you are actually looking at the defense, uh, can I just go with this one? Knight's healer, knight's, knight's, uh, oh man. Later on, later on, later on, later on. Not right now, not right now. I have no idea on what to do with that one. I need to do a little bit of research on that one before I actually go and dive into that one. Anyways, guys, looks pretty much that is like it, okay? So right out here, guys, these are the things that you need to keep in check uh, so that, like, you do not miss out on anyone, okay? And uh, let's see what is the rating of Betty. Oh, my God! His rating is just too bad. 3.9 only! Crap, that's bad, that's bad. What does people, what do people really say about him? I mean, like, what do people really say about him? Can we actually see, like, uh, you know, like, um, any, 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 any review on this one? Is there, is there, is there any review on this one? Like, it has any person actually say about anything? And wow, guys, just look at it, guys. I mean, like, you really don't need to even look for any kind of tier list out there. You can easily see that, like, what are the best units that you can actually look out for in SR rank, okay? The best units that you really want to pull, or maybe you want to reroll, okay? Alessis, Amy, Lime, all right? So these are the top tier units that you would really want to pull right off the bat when you start the game. So that's pretty great. And in S rank unit, guys, Olivia, I got her for free, okay? I think that is pretty great. No problem at all, okay? And then another one is Razel. That is another free-to-play unit right away. Shachi, I really don't have her till now. So uh, let's not actually frivol about her. Poseidon, 
Wow, handout, Nephilim, uh, Yulia, wow, that's great, that's great, I'm pretty happy about that one. Hey, Sasha, Charlotte, oh, I got Charlotte, I got Charlotte, wow, that's great. Uh, Cindy, Kyle, uh, Lydia, wow, that's great, guys, I have Lydia as well, I have uh, Kyle as well, damn it, that's good, oh, wow. I'm so, I'm so happy, guys, I'm so, what, did, what, wow, that's good, that's really nice animation effect. Oh my god, but anyways, I was pretty much, oh my god, he has all the 3.9, holy crap, but anyways, I will try to use him, guys, I mean, like, that's, that's pretty great, that's pretty great, guys. So, uh, can we see another thing, uh, so right up here, guys, this energy currency, what do we call it, what do we call it in this game, what do we call that energy currency in this game, uh, is this energy, yes, energy as energy, okay, this is just energy, uh, and the next one is the gem, uh, this one is the gold, uh, pretty much simple and when you go into like menu you can actually have a short access to everyone quick access to everything in this game um, pretty much like all the other things are pretty much like same thing right out there guys you can also purchase like premium packs from this shop if you are pretty much really interested in this game guys you can go into the costume shop buy packages buy goods all right it's really up to you on how you want to use it you can also join a guild you can actually join a guild right now yes i can it's same okay and the highest uh, level of guild is level nine can i do it can i can i can i join uh can i join seems like i can join okay so there we go guys guild login reward i got uh, already a guild crest all right or let's say a guild point so there we go uh, guild lobby character uh, it's gonna be my Razel and Olivia okay so Razel uh, that's gonna be my uh, guild guild character okay so there we go guys wow it looks just too good can I just click on it what what what's it gonna say mission and I'm gonna receive all and there we go wow that's a lot of items right out there guys just being a part of a guild and it's already giving me a lot of items right away uh, request exchange a want what whatever that is okay no it just sort my icon right out here is there something that I, I can I can I can just uh, you know like claim for free uh, why did it show the red icon okay wow that's a lot <laughs> I still need to actually uh, keep a, a little bit of track on that one but anyways uh, later on with that one guys but hey guys I mean like just till here guys everything looks so fine you can actually go into the battle and if you really want to go into pvp battles as well this is the place where you can actually go there's the pvp con uh, uh, content as well but i have not actually been able to unlock my pvp content right now so i'm really not uh able to actually show you on that one okay uh, so that's the thing right out here guys anyways the next one is the weekly and the daily missions okay da on the daily basis you can do the dimension boss like five times per day next one is annihilation daily defense and the wizard's labyrinth okay to get various amount of various types of rewards even the summoning tickets you can get from there so that's pretty great the next one is weekly okay weekly you can actually get a lot of items right out there guys i mean like wow this is this is great okay this item this is the one that i really want in order to do that ev the, the evolution okay this evo stone so next one is challenge trial tower it's pretty much easy this is the place where i actually end up getting a lot of items like this one the gem okay so try to do the trial tower as well so this is how it goes on heroes tower you can actually do in order to get this amazing amazing like unit right out there yeah, a hero that can be used to awaken ass rank assault hero wow that's great all right so these are the pretty rare item that you can only get from through here i guess so that's the thing right out here guys so pretty much really amazing game uh, a game a game uh, that i have really encountered so far pretty amazing uh how about you guys what do you think about this game please let me know in the comment section below this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel see you guys in the next video